What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're going to check out Stone Cold's greatest catchphrases by Wrestling Flashback, man. It's Stone Cold. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He is infamous for some legendary uh, catchphrases. So, we're going to check it out. We're going to go down memory lane, man. It's always good to go down memory lane with legendary wrestlers. And it's nothing better to check out. Uh, none better to check out Stone Cold and his great catchphrases. We all know the infamous what, man. That's that's still a chant that is performed today. That's how legendary that phrase was. Just a simple what annoys people, and I love it, man. So we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into this one. Son. Few people could talk trash and work a microphone like Stone Cold Steve Austin. To become course, Stone Cold, man. Austin turned his personality all the way up, and this gave his countless memorable segments. The Rattlesnake had several go-to lines which helped make up his iconic promos. We'll count down the best ones today as we list Stone Cold's top 10 catchphrases. <laughs> Honorable mentions go out to the following Austin tropes. Son of a bitch. You are the world's dumbest son, son of a up. bitch. Yeah. Austin's foul mouth was there for all to Love see it, during man. his promos. He had his go-to swear words, and one of them was when he would call someone a son of a bitch. I said, look at me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you are, without a shadow of a doubt, the most boring son of a bitch I've ever seen. You are one dumb <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. DTA, don't trust anybody. Don't DTA trust anybody, was motto the rattlesnake lived by. DTA, brother, don't trust anybody. And given the type of character Steve was, it made perfect sense, even if it also applied to himself. DTA now stands for don't, don't trust, trust Austin. Austin. Mm -hmm. DTA, you stupid piece of trash. <laughs> Don't ever trust nobody. Austin's <laughs> laugh and serious face. <laughs> How come I don't think it's so funny? You've always got to be on guard when Austin <laughs> starts laughing, Love as you it. never know when he's going to switch it up to his serious face. <laughs> <laughs> or even hit you with a stone cold stunner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now onto the list. Number 10, I'm not sure how good your hearing is. I don't know how good your hearing is. If the crowd was calling someone an asshole, mm -hmm. Stone Cold made sure to let the person know. My hearing ain't so good, and you got 15,000 people calling you an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you got 18,000 people calling you an asshole. Once again, Vince, you got about 15,000 people calling you an ass. <laughs> Just in case they couldn't quite hear what the fans were chanting. I don't know how good your hearing is, but you got about 15,000 people calling you an asshole. I don't know how good your hearing is, but you got about 15,000 people calling you an asshole. It is always 15,000. <laughs> Stadium will probably only hold 10K or 8K. I don't know how good your hearing is, but you got about 15,000 people. <laughs> Wait, bro, we can only hold 10K in here. Hey, 15,000 people. <laughs> you don't ask how good your hearing is or not, but you got 15,000 people out here saying, oh, hell yeah. Number nine, eh, eh. Then she eh, said, eh. maybe I could be moaning. <laughs> Austin was always on hand to set the record straight, which sometimes meant he'd have to dig down deep into his gravelly Texas accent to yell out, eh, eh. You deserve to be the World Wrestling Federation champion. I say, eh, eh. <laughs> the Stone Cold, accept your apology. Eh, eh. <laughs> and that's what you think. I got two words for you. Eh, eh. <laughs> Number eight, and that's all I've got to say about that. And that's all I got to say about that. When Austin was done speaking on a topic, or if he had nothing left to say at all, he'd let us know. That's all I got to say about that. And that's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. And that's all I got to say about that. 
I could dump you right on that stack of dimes. You call a neck, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> it's gonna be a damn good time, and that's all I got to say about that. Number seven, stomp a mud hole and walk mm. it dry. Stomp a mud hole in your ass and walk, walk it dry. dry. <laughs> it's not only made for a legendary catchphrase, but the mud hole stomps in the corner made up some of Stone Cold's signature in ring Facts. offense. Facts. I'm going to stomp a mud hole in your ass and walk it dry. I'm going <laughs> to stomp a, walk a mud hole in his ass and walk it dry. It's a mud hole. You stomp a mud hole in somebody. And then you walk it dry. I stomped so many <laughs> mud holes in this town and walked them dry. Sometimes I got to drink a cold beer and just reminisce about it. Number six, <laughs> open up a can of whoop ass. I love it. Eight billion dollar can of whoop ass and serve it to you. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> we all know how much the rattlesnake loves to drink, but a can of mm -hmm. whoop ass wasn't something Austin drank from, but it was certainly something he would dish out on a weekly basis back in the day. And we're going to open up a big fat can of whoop ass <laughs> on Booker T. At WrestleMania 30, I opened up a can of whoop ass. Not a can of ass whip, it's a can of whoop ass. <laughs> hey, open up a big fat can of whoop ass. <laughs> Number five best insults. Just as bad as he could whoop wrestlers in the ring, Austin could also tear people down on the mic. When mm -hmm. Steve got going on the stick, he didn't hold back, and this resulted in some fantastic insults, some of which we're going to highlight <laughs> now. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion All right, opinion I don't think Bret we Hart. have to go there. You sit there and call yourself the gorilla, yet you hee-haw out here like a jackass. <laughs> it ain't a race thing. It ain't a color thing. It's a me kicking your ass thing. And can't nobody stop. It's your piece of crap. I challenge you to flush yourself down a commode. <laughs> See, Mike, when it all comes down to it, I'll knock that damn gold tooth out of your mouth and make it into a necklace for Stone Cold. Wow. I'll knock your damn head off just for wearing those stupid shoes. <laughs> Having a baby with Triple H. Look down there and see a 15-pound nose so full of manure <laughs> they can't keep enough diapers on the little bastard. What exactly is a nature boy? Oh. Do you like nature? Oh. Do you like boys? What? No, don't answer that. <laughs> Sit the stupid music now. <laughs> I ain't got time to watch you spray that stupid ass water all over the town. I love this is one of my favorite clips. <laughs> Shut the stupid music down. <laughs> he was in the middle of his entrance. He's like, I ain't got time to be here seeing you spit that damn water out. Get your ass in the fucking room. <laughs> Oh my god, still one of my favorite clips from him, bro. What if he can never Wrestle again! Settle down for you blow your pacemaker, kid. <laughs> you said you had a bigger set of balls than anybody here in the damn company. Am I about to stun my first transvestite? <laughs> Since you showed me all your footage, Stone Cold Steve Austin got something he want to show you. How about that? <laughs> there it is right there. Have yourself a good Thanksgiving. But here's a little bird for you to enjoy right now. <laughs> Number four, Austin 316 said, mm -hmm. I just whooped your ass. This was one of Stone Cold's most famous sayings. And although it wasn't a phrase he repeated as often as others on the list, mm -hmm. we'll never forget the impact Steve made when he uttered the words for the first time after winning the 1996 mm -hmm. King of the Ring. Talk about John 316. Austin 316 says, I just whipped your ass. McMahon, I was great. 16 says I just pissed my pants. Oh, <laughs> you will know that Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Always remember, Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Number three, legendary. What? what? This is all oh, Austin's fault. Making up this stupid catchphrase. What? The what chat might be annoying today. I hate that word. I hate it. What? The most pain that you've ever felt in your life. What? Why don't you say what if you like to sleep with your own sister? What? <laughs> but back when I, <laughs> I love that clip too. Undertaker's just like, you, you disgusting people. Austin first coined the term. It was both the most over chant and catchphrase at the time. The line spawned plenty of funny moments, <laughs> while Stone Cold made sure to incorporate the fans' what chants into his promos. What? 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 Kick oh. this son of a every time 
You say what? Uh, you don't breathe? <laughs> what? You got no pulse. You're not alive. Number two, give me a hell yeah. Give me a hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Every when Austin time, was about man. to raise some hell, often he'd look for the fans' approval first. You want Kurt Angle to get his ass out of this coliseum? Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. And if they obliged, <laughs> then that usually meant it was time to open up a can of whoop ass or stump a mud hole, look it dry, and drink a few Steve Weisers afterwards. You want Stone Cold Steve Austin to open up a can of whoop ass on that son bitch right there? Right. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. If you can handle that, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> give me another hell yeah. <laughs> give me a hell yeah. Number one, and that's the bottom line, because mm -hmm. Stone Cold said so. And that's the bottom line, because Stone, Stone Cold, Cold said, said so. so. Austin closed out his promos in iconic fashion, with one of wrestling fans' most recited catchphrases. And that's the bottom line. Why? And that's the bottom line. You know why? Yes, I do. You're damn right, because Stone, Stone Cold, Cold said, said so. so. <laughs> Stone Cold said so. Stone Cold said so. That's the bottom line. <laughs> the bottom line, not the bottom lines. <laughs> Sometimes I like to say more than one thing. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. And that's the bottom line, because I said so. And that brings us <laughs> to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, Man, sure this, give it a this, like and subscribe this, to the channel. And if you like this, brought me back down memory lane, bro. Ah, Stone Cold hearing that glass break as a kid. Oh my God, I knew somebody was about to catch a can of whoop ass, and I was all for it. Damn, man, it, it, it's ah. What a time to have been alive for that period, man. Shout out to everyone that grew up in the uh the early mid uh you know early or uh, early to mid 90s and you was able to catch this live when it happened. I honestly wish I had a time machine so I can go back and just literally watch these events happen live because it was just some of the best time in wrestling, bro. That oh dog man, take me back. But comment down below. Let me know, what's your favorite Stone Cold Steve Austin catchphrase, man? Uh, for me, it's, it's, it's the what's, bro. The what's always get me. It's even said today when the crowd is not giving a damn about what's happening in the ring sometimes when a person, usually when a heel's talking or someone they don't really care about, they hit them with the what chance and it's love it. I know a lot of people get annoyed by it, but it's just that over. It's just it's just a chance that I'll never it'll probably never die and I, I'm I'm okay with it, man. And I've gotten in trouble a few times saying what over and over and over as a kid. So it it, it has fond memories. But I appreciate all the love and support. And I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion. Where I appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.